Hi, it's Brother Monroe. Welcome to uh, the State of the World in 1900, beginning of 1900. Now, um, I'll start with Britain. Uh, Britain itself are... Actually, I'll just let the game run for a day. Oh, yeah. Um, our trade is ridiculously good. We're exporting nearly everything except silk. Um and oil, but uh, we'll probably start producing oil soon. Um, and these two haven't built up our stockpile yet. And we don't have an aeroplane factory. But otherwise, trade looking excellent. Um, the Whigs still by far and away the most popular party. Um, a couple of others have turned up, like uh, the Socialist League. You know, oddly, the Labour Party doesn't exist yet. Um, quite free. Uh, only freedom we haven't done is all allowed. Um, social forms still haven't been able to do any because the Whigs have been in power for the whole time. Relations um, with the great powers, friendly with Austria, okay with German Germany, quite friendly with uh, Belgium and Spain, despite the fact we're at war with Spain. France hates us, Japan hates us, I don't know why that is, and the CSA hates us. Um, Population-wise, mostly Indian now, but uh, English still uh, a large fra uh, fraction. And obviously, now that I've got all of Africa, the Craftsman and Clarks has gone down quite a lot in terms of percentage. Technology, We're currently researching this, it's quite good. And we'll have a quick look through the ledger. So, we're at the top. Um, quite rightly. Then the Germans, then France, then Japan, who are doing very well for themselves. Then the Austrians, then Spain, who's still a great power, which is quite surprising. The CSA, Belgium. Then Canada, which is doing quite well for itself. Then various other places. Down the bottom of the list we have Tidor and Patchy and various other places. In terms of prestige, we're way out in front. Followed by the Germans who are also in a league of their own. Similar story with the military. And sim very similar story with industries, just me and Germany, that's pretty much it. And population wise, we're the second beast after China. Uh, in terms of size, we're way in front. Number of factories again in front. Uh, literacy, we're actually doing quite well, sitting just below Norway. Uh, manpower, I have mass of it. In terms of divisions, quite a lot. And ships, loads. Uh, certainly not a big importer. And will almost certainly be the yeah, world's biggest exporter of goods. See if there's any interesting ideologies. Reactionary lots. Liberals. Conservatives. Anarcho liberal. Western Australia is a narco liberal presidential dictatorship. Weird. Yeah, so the current war's going on. Yes, the CSA is still in a colonial war versus the USA. I don't know when they're going to give up on it. Russia and Greece are taking on the Ottomans, and we're still in colonial war with Spain. Most profitable factory is the furniture factory in London. In fact, London takes the top three. Uh, leading producers, it's always interesting to look at. So, Japan is the leading producer in lumber, like processed timber and fuel. Germany's leading in this sort of heavy industry stuff. Uh, and then we are in all the rest, like important things like steel, um, canned food, chemicals. So we've got like basic industry covered. Interesting. 
National Army comparison. So in totals, ours is the largest, um, but obviously it's spread out all over the place, followed by the Germans, then the CSA, and then various other people. In terms of navies, we're by far the biggest. Um, it's pre-dreadnoughts that are important. Germany's got four, and we have 114, so... Protected cruisers, Austria and Germany both have some, and so does Canada, which is quite cool. And then others might have one or two. They're the only ones that really count. Uh, I suppose submarine mildly important, and Germans have a few of those as well. There's the history, but that's enough of that logic. So, France, Spain, Portugal, all sort of the same same sort of size. Um, Germany quite big and powerful at the moment, particularly holding, particularly as it holds these little extra bits. Um, Austria, still a great power, but pff, it'd be a lot greater if they still had Hungary. Uh, anyway, Ottomans are currently in a war versus Greece, who are doing okay, um, and. Ottomans are actually doing surprisingly well against the Russians, probably because the Russians have to keep having to going back and deal with the rebels. In terms of the British Empire, in Africa, at least, you can see that quite dominant in Africa. Um, still haven't managed to link up the east and west, uh, or the north and south, um, but getting there. Uh, recently acquired Egypt, of course. And we got inside of Arabia. And that as well. <laughs> Which is quite useful. Um, per the Middle East, other than that, Persia's still intact. Um, Afghanistan still pottering along. Um, China, uh, they got into a war with. Ooh, minor. I could have a war with China if I was feeling particularly bold. Um, yeah, they had a war with Japan, and Japan has got Taiwan out of it. It's quite cool. Um, Oh, they still own the Philippines. All right, okay, that's good. I can go and attack them for that. Um, we now own Timor, which is quite cool. Uh, otherwise, the Dutch still own Dutch East Indies. Australia is still split up, but um, they should form a Dominion, a Commonwealth, quite soon. Unfortunately, Germany owns this little bit of the Pacific. Ah, they had bits of the Pacific. Right, that's all right. And the US control this a little bit. Now, America is messed up beyond belief. Canada, powerful. We still have this, the American bit over here, of course. Um, the CSA still around, uh, pumping out hundreds of thousands of troops both of them. Uh, the US, loads of troops all over the place. Uh, and they're taking a bit of Mexico as well. Um, so everything generally messed up. South America is quite messed up too, as you can see. Um, I own a bit, Americans own a bit. <laughs> um, don't know what a Western Australian transport divisions then. So, who knows what those rebels are up to? Suez Canal's been built. Um, South America um, looks alright. Nothing really much going on down there. Did 
And then we are back to Africa. Alright, see you next time for the next proper episode.